Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. We are picking up exactly where we left off last time. We're in El Generico and uh, we're going to see if we can get some small vehicle trailer. We want to try and haul some vehicles about. We do have the uh, the box in front of us. The, I'm not sure if you saw it. Telehandlers are still behind us. The crane, the crane crate loaders are still there. That's how how soon after it is we haven't even left the game so we're going to drive in and we are going to see what we can get from here different loads is what we're after oh we, we can do cars and we can do some trucks we've got a bit of everything we're not going to complete this we might do another we might do one of these to see how many go in the back um, but i think what i'd like to i want to do the cars so these are paying out pretty good but that's obviously um, quite a distance on that. With with the how the loading works, that might be like one job this episode. That's the that's my concern. But if it is, then it is. But it's you know this going to earn as much as what we do if we do two jobs anyway. But we'll uh, we'll give it a crack. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, so that's confused me. <laughs> confused me a little bit. So uh, we we we've spawned. Uh, we're not in any vehicle at all. We are the trailer. And we we have to un un uh, uh, we have to drop the, the trailer axis I think so we'll see if it's one of these oh yes okay so we are we are that we're gonna do all that no now we're in a car okay we, this is our first um, car that we've driven as well so let's put me uh, <laughs> me audios in tightly. Headlights, do we need lights on? Should we put lights on? I do like to put the lights on to be fair, and it is early morning. Actually, <laughs> I mean, it's a bit starry, but it feels quite nice. It's quite nice to drive. Perhaps we need to get one just so I can get driving. Sounds alright. Let's just have a little around the car park. A little Raz. Tell you what, that ain't bad. That feels <laughs> nice and responsive. I've played racing games that don't feel that good. Why is this game so good? I'm not I'm not complaining, but why is it so much better than so many other games? Am I there? I'm there. Oh, we got three. We've are they, are they the same? They are oh, the same vehicle by itself. Definitely looks like an uh, an Audi, that doesn't it? Do you that's an Audi? Looks a bit like an Audi. I think the lights are wrong. Right. I really want a Raz one. Not sure if I should. Not sure if I should. Sit up there, nice, nice and gentle. So you can use these to pull. <laughs> you can use these. They're a car. You don't need to do a car. You can um, put caravans. You can. Oh, you can an extra one here as well. They're giving us so many. Should we do this one out in cab? I don't really do out of cab drive. Oh. Makes me want to razz it though. It's a little bit like Forks at the minute. Alright, feels responsive. It's good. I've just, uh, just given a little test. Just given a test, boss. Quality assurance and all that. I was only saying a few episodes ago, I want to do some QA, get these games working. We're on. Okay, oh, so this is me again. Up and up. That's good. That's good. Would it make sense if my truck was attached at the other end already? Because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that the controls and the, the motor for the um, driving 
carrier unit where that thing's called. I'm pretty sure that's going to be that would be running off the truck. Don't know. I don't know. Maybe they have a motor of their own on there, a battery somewhere or a generator. I don't know. But I'm, I would have thought it would have been connected to the truck. Even got a little, not not massive, but got a little bit of detail to the uh, to the bottom of the cars. This is cool. I'm sorry. This is cool. This is. Oh, this is like. Oh, this, this is unlike anything else I've played. This is. I don't think there's another game out there where you do this, is there? If there is, let me know. I need to go and play it. There are car sales games. There is, um, there's a car mechanic and stuff like that. You don't, do, you don't do this in them. That's it. They're strapped on. Okay. Let's go. It's got a big boy on it. So we we loaded in every single one of them. Wasn't pre-done, we don't just come and collect the trailer, we load the trailer. Wonder what we could have put on the front there. Perhaps if we had a little little mini car there. Right, let's try and use our internal. I want, I want one of these in uh, ETS as well, please. I want reversing cameras. Um, in ETS and ATS. For connecting your loads, that would be great. So we've got a long trip on us on our hands, this one. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't been able to... I'll, you may have noticed the same clothes for the last three uh, episodes. I've recorded these back to back. I did say we'd probably bulk record. I haven't been able to clear my throat all morning. All morning. And again, this is another advantage to being able to record during the day. We have been recording for, you know, nearly an hour and a half. Well, probably a little bit more than an hour and a half. This is our third, is it third recording today already. Third recording, and it's ten a.m. This is this is amazing, st amazing stuff. I'm sure it won't always be like this. I'm sure that even with you know partners working and. Things like that. It's not always going to be like this, but to make the most of it when I can, it's just nice to be able to do this. And once I've done a few of these, I'm going to go record from Starfield, and that's like two hours. That'll probably be what I do in the afternoon, and then I'll have pretty much a week's worth of content all recorded in one morning. And then all I've got left to do for that week is stream my farm sims and record my. Uh, members after the members see it and get feedback. We're going to have a week of easy mode. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this, and thank you very much for returning, I forgot to say that this time, because I've already said it once today, I've forgotten. Um, yeah, uh, appreciate you coming back and, and joining the series. Obviously, you're not watching them all in one day. Um, or you might be. If you are, then you're an absolute legend. But if you are enjoying these, um, do not do not hesitate to uh, smash the old thumbs up. Also subscribe if you are new here and you're only just catching these. Uh, go back and watch the first one, enjoy the series as we uh, learn a little bit about it and experience different vehicles. Uh, if you are only now just joining us, we we started off obviously with the uh, the little van. You always start off with a van if that's what you purchase, and we then. Uh, progressed through different vehicles. I didn't sort of just size up every time. We we, we went for the van. We went for the uh, what did we go after the van, the box, static truck. Then we went um, for the the rigid trailer. What else did we go with the? Or uh, it was after that pickup. We went pickup and then we went um, side panel or what I like to call a transit van, a tranny van. To here, 
Uh, and there's, there's still there's still a car we can try out. So we've got those cards seem quite fun. I want to buy a car just to mess around, but they're, they're not cheap compared to the other vehicles. They're not cheap. So we'll try and get a car. And there is at least one other type of truck. There's a size up in truck for us to get here. And then if we want to have a little mess about, there is a monster truck. So we might get, we might get at Raz if we can afford it. Oh, and the uh, the American style uh, truck, which I think we should probably do and give a go. Although I think that was quite expensive. I think almost a bit more. I guess the only downside of me recording these back to back in one morning, like three episodes, we've had no in between episode jobs done. Whereas like uh, before I started recording this morning, I think. I've done about eight jobs since the last one, so just a few on screen, so. But that's alright. That's alright. We've got we've got money. We've got like 90 grand still, I think. So this is gonna pay out 17,000. Uh, because this is a long one and this is probably gonna take up all of what I'm gonna consider my lot of time for the episode. I don't want it to run for more than like 30 odd minutes. Not really. And so if if this one's gonna be a long one, then um, we might put an extra extra job in because I want to see some more of the loads. But we do have, like I said, we do have the larger trucks to go for. Which we'll also experience the larger loads with. Because there's the cars, there's the trucks. I think then um, with the, the larger man and the larger Scania. Uh, this is a this is a four by four on wheels, I think they're six by fours, the larger ones. Um, so you pull a larger load with the bigger engines, and um, yeah, I think so. On those, you pull a larger vehicle trailer on the back, or a larger vehicle carrier on the back. Whereas, what have we got on eight, seven? Um, I think you can fit an extra two. I think that's a little bit longer. So it should be a little bit more money. Again, it just seems like the money is entirely down to distance rather than the load time which is a bit weird. Also, we need to do the dump. Well, there's a dump truck, uh, uh, a spe specific dump truck. So we would we'll like to get that. But also there's the uh, the dump trailer we can get at construction sites and probably down in the quarry as well. So that's a contract we need to look into because I, I really enjoy doing the skid steer loader with the bricks. That was fun. To, uh, to get a wheel loader in and do some larger rubble. That would be cool. And we're coming right here. Should really look to see if there's anyone on my right, but I'm sort of hogging much of the road anyway. As I do. Again, the, the vehicle sounds different with the extra load. Definitely sound different. I can feel it under acceleration. Still got my uh, itchy eyeball. I don't even know. It might be, well, you guys might be able to see it. it. Might be really red. My uh, right eye is irritating the hell out of me. I start weeping. That's why. I do need to be rude and just grab a drink. I saw this talking in one go. Even me parched. So I do apologise. I normally try and have a drink in between the load screens. But if we're doing a long job, there's no load screen. <clears throat> we won't be <laughs> going off and looking for pallets in these big vehicles. It's a big vehicle in our big truck. It'd be nice if we could see some more golden pallets, though. Just for the money, because each one we get, they seem to increase by uh, 500 credits, I think. Oh my eye, that went funny then, went proper funny. <laughs> That's about to have a stroke. <laughs> but we should see you know, a vast majority of the map, we'll get to see if there is much difference. We should travel through a couple of the towns, I think. I think we've already gone through two. Because you go over on the highway, you don't actually get to see them. 
sort of fly over them and around them, which is good. You don't want every little traffic as you're going through your, your towns and your seas. So I guess in that sense, they've made it appealing. <laughs> That's what people want. It's got some uh, some unusual terrains though, with all with how steep and frequent those hills are. The undulations are erratic. And again, I've said it before, I think the environment is more than enough for a game of this time. Definitely. It's an, it's an improvement on many of the, the console-orientated simulators. If you look at this compared to... Uh, I don't have to bash it because I hate it, on the Road Rock Simulator. Ooh, excuse me, shouldn't have had the gassy drink. The environment on that is uh, completely barren and dead most of the time. Even for the parts, because it's supposed to be real life Germany, I, for the parts of Germany that are beautiful and lush and green and dense, dense forest, they depict the dense, dense forests of Germany in On the Road Truck Simulator with about 20 trees together, and that's it. I guess in this being a fictitious place, um, you know, we can, you can pretend it's any way you want in Europe. So it doesn't need to have too much of a, that sort of realism to it. I mean, if you, you once you've got your American truck, once you've built yourself up to that because it's expensive, um, yeah, you can pretend it's anywhere in America, I guess, because you drive on the right hand side of the road as well. Did we get fuel when we? Well, we did get fuel when we brought this, didn't we? I can't see where my fuel is on there. Excuse me while I... I think fuel is on the left now. I think we're good. I, did, I believe I did. See, that's how bad my memory is. I, I'll often talk, say, oh, I can't remember what we did last episode. Did I do it? Did I not do it? And more often than not, that episode is like a week ago. I can't remember if we put fuel in this truck when we brought it. And we brought it 40 minutes ago. <laughs> My recall is so bad. So bad I should probably get it investigated. But where would be the fun in that? Yeah, I think it's been a while since we've um, been up this side. We certainly haven't come in off this side in a while. I think if we visited here before we would have been uh, coming in the other, other way. Quite happy for that to go red for us. Careful not to detach your trailer. Done that before. Oh yeah, there were um, golden crates upstairs, weren't there? Which was weird. I'm not quite sure how we get them because we can't get out of a truck. It's got to be getting in a car and driving up them up them stairs. Up them stairs. And we've got some roadworks ahead. We haven't had a nice. Uh, grab of the load, you have to get it so it's somewhere where we might be able to screenshot it a little bit and crop it and make a thumbnail. So, I, can I get down there? It's not saying, like, I can't, but I don't think I should. I don't understand this German road works. There's no light saying don't go down there, right? We'll see what happens with this dude now. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Okay. No, 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 no. No. Oh, I should be over there. Okay. There we go. I didn't notice that that was actually a a lane. I thought they'd shut that bit off. I was close. I was close. I sort of knew. I've had too many mistakes in this series. It's been pretty good for that. I bet he just ran a red light, or he's just down white on red. Yeah, I think adhering to the uh, the rules of the road, I think we've been pretty good at it so far. I mean, 
five speeding tickets, I think. One of them was pretty bad, but I think, you know, we've been pretty good. For the, the amount of mileage we've clocked up, I think we've been pretty good. Again, if you watch my ATS ETS content, you'll know that I have a heavy foot. Beautiful. That's nearly 18 grand. Nearly 18 grand on that one. So we shall accept. Shall we have a little look at what they have? They might have something reasonably close by or small. This is all. All vehicles to go in the same way. Um, is there a short one? Just up the road. Should we do a quick one? Another quick one just for two grand. Because we've got, I mean, going up to 15 minutes. Let's go for it. Talking in the load screen again. That annoys me. So once again, I am the trailer. This is cool, though. This is cool. This is so good. It is. Right, let's load them up. Let's get them on. We'll not be doing donuts and razzing around this time. Whoa. I don't feel like I'm straight, but we're going to go with it. Just can't see off the edge. There we go. Right, another one. And we could do some out catch. I'm just not overly bond of our cab driving with a wheel. I still haven't tried this game at all with the controller. I've done it all with uh, wheel, pedal and side panel. And it has been absolutely fine. I've had absolutely no issues. No issues whatsoever with my wheels or my pedals or anything sinking or like giving us uh, feedback and stuff. It's, it's just been great. It's been smooth. As it should be. I don't know why. That's the sh Again, going back to like the, the problems with games. Like why, why is it a, a talking point? Why is it such a big positive when it just works? Every game should be, oh, it just works. It should be everything else on top of that that's then praised. It shouldn't be, oh, the controls aren't fucked. <laughs> That shouldn't, that shouldn't be a praising point. It just should, it should be minimum. Minimum when a game releases is that the controls work. That the support controls work. And that the desired controls by your paying customer work. So if it's a driving game, especially if it's anything to do with simulator based, it needs to have wheel support. It needs to have wheel and pedal support. If it doesn't have wheel and pedal support, do not put simulator in the title of your game because it's not if it is only playable by a controller whether it be console or PC if it is only playable by a controller that is not a driving simulator I'm sorry it's not it's not me being a snob it's not being a PC snob people should be able to play driving simulators on their consoles with pedals and wheels as well Stuff needs to just work. Let's hook this bad boy up. See, now this was only about two grand, I think, as well, wasn't it? I mean, this wasn't a big paying job. But it is only up the road. But again, it's seven cars, so surely that should be more than if we were to deliver, you know, two pallets of bricks. But because it's the distance and not necessarily the load that we get paid on doesn't seem to uh, to make any difference so if the devs do watch something to consider I think delivery times would be nice as well short uh, short notice ones you know things that have got to be there in a rush not to encourage speeding in racing, but so but there's just that extra risk to it. So there's a chance of losing some income if you're not there on time. 
you know, give yourself, so, like, time-wise, you want it to be so that if you're running a perfect run at, you know, maximum legal speed, you get 100%. Then anything under, you start to lose, you know, a couple of creditos every, uh, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you're late. Not a lot. You don't want someone to arrive who's driven safely to, uh, excuse me, not have any income, but, yeah. Last minute jobs, on time jobs, something like that, that'd be cool. I mean, they could even, I know it'd be hard to do now because so many people have already on the game and maybe brought everything and have everything, but having um, maybe slightly, slightly more, and it, it takes away some of the accessibility to get into and do everything you want to do, maybe. There's some slightly, slightly more expensive vehicles. That wouldn't be a problem. They're all very cheap. The fact that you can buy this for like 40 grand, you can get your starting van, do six jobs probably six or seven jobs and buy this and you're in the full fledges of a truck in Sydney which isn't you know that's not a bad thing the access is something that I think is really good but we've got the bigger ones maybe the bigger ones could be even more expensive than what they are I don't know again this is where it comes down to what I was talking earlier on about with the farm sim and the realism and stuff like that you want to be a simulator then you've it's, it's, it's that difficult balance when you call your game a simulator who you attract do you attract you know people like myself who really prefer the realism and the difficulty and the depth of a game or is it just a driving simulator you're just driving you're simulating driving in a truck which this does by the way this does it very well I can't emphasize enough on how well this game delivers on its title. It, there's just some extra bits that would be really, really nice for it. But the fact that I'm happy to just sit here and just keep playing this all morning is testament to how fun the game actually is. So, how are we going? Right, let's go this way. That's going to be tight, isn't it? That is going to be tight. And of course, there's a boast right there as well. Where am I dropping? Just out in the middle somewhere? Come on. Where am I dropping this off? Don't let me sing your praises and then break. There we go. Why didn't I just come in from somewhere else? It doesn't seem like the right spot. We got to drive on some of this footpath. This simulation is key. And me, this is key. Trust me, if I was a truck driver, I would be driving on all the paths. <laughs> I'm slowly creeping. Done. Awesome. So yeah, like two and a half grand for that. Whereas we were moving like small trailers and generators for like six grand so yeah that's 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 where i think some some tweak in, in the finances but yeah all good but that my beauties is another delivery another episode oh, i have i am i just thoroughly enjoying it i am so enjoying it um we're probably going to go again with this truck and try a different sort of delivery from somewhere else uh, and then we will do another episode where we get our, our next truck. That's probably how we'll do it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Thank you so much for the support on this and anything else that you are watching on the channel. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.